Good evening. An explosive fire that sent flames leaping 10 metres into the air has forced mechanics at an automotive workshop on Richmond Road to run for their lives. Reporter Sam Vardis joins us live. Sam, the property went up in a fireball. How did it start? Well, Brenton, three mechanics were changing a fuel filter of a car here at this automotive business on Richmond Road when the fuel caught alight at around 3.30 this afternoon. Now, the employees say they tried putting out the blaze. They went through three fire extinguishers before the blaze took hold and they ran for their lives. The smoke given off by the toxic materials inside the workshop shop was extremely thick. One worker was taken to hospital suffering from smoke inhalation. Forty firefighters were called in to fight the fire which took just minutes to engulf the business. The flames and smoke were so fierce firefighters were forced to fight the fire from afar. There has been cylinders explode so far uh, and our concern is for the house next door and uh, we're doing our best to protect that at the moment and we look like we've achieved that. Matter of Five minutes, less than five minutes. You know, it just went one big ball of flame. Big black, um, looked like one big black thunderstorm really. And yeah, just smoke everywhere, filled the whole street up. Now the MFS say they'll be here for some time to stop the tyres from smouldering. This is the second fire to destroy a business today. Firefighters were kept busy dousing a blazing workshop in Edwardstown and it's unclear as to exactly what caused that half a million dollar fire. Too hot to enter, firefighters forced to attack the blaze from above. Inside the earth moving workshop, petrol fueling the flames. On arrival, it was very intense and a lot of heat and a lot of smoke, and uh, yeah, there, there a lot of, you can tell there's going to be a lot of damage done. One firefighter struggled to catch his breath. Police quick to evacuate nearby businesses. Southern wall in a collapse. Red flag warning, all personnel. Over. Well, I was a bit scared, and it was big flames we saw coming out of the roof after a little while. And there was an explosion which seemed to blow some of the. the um, iron off the roof and then the flames really started. Luckily no one was inside. The business closed for the holidays. Workers arrived in shock. I don't even want to think about it at the moment, thanks. The owner of the business has told Nine News inside the shed were a number of late model four-wheel drive utes, as well as his beloved vintage 1952 fully restored MGTD. He's flying back from his holiday in Sydney to assess the damage. Catherine Kennedy, Nine News.